Thought Vibration, or The Law of Attraction in the Thought World. Book by William Walker Atkinson. Narrated by Andrew. Originally published in 1906. This is a great audiobook production created for research, study, and discussion purposes. Chapter 8. The Law of Mental Control. Thoughts either faithful servants or tyrannical masters, some of our best mental work performed for us when our conscious mentality is at rest, the key to the mystery, the man who understands how to run his mental engine, slowing down the mind. Your thoughts are either faithful servants or tyrannical masters, just as you allow them to be. You have the say about it. Take your choice. They will either go about your work under direction of the firm will, doing it the best they know how, not only in your waking hours. But when you are asleep, some of our best mental work being performed for us when our conscious mentality is at rest. As is evidenced by the fact that when the morning comes we find troublesome problems have been worked out for us during the night, after we had dismissed them from our minds, apparently. Or they will ride all over us and make us their slaves if we are foolish enough to allow them to do so. More than half the people of the world are slaves of every vagrant thought which may see fit to torment them. Your mind is given you for your good and for your own use, not to use you. There are very few people who seem to realize this and who understand the art of managing the mind. The key to the mystery is concentration. A little practice will develop within every man the power to use the mental machine properly. When you have some mental work to do concentrate upon it to the exclusion of everything else. And you will find that the mind will get right down to business to the work at hand and matters will be cleared up in no time. There is an absence of friction, and all waste motion or lost power is obviated. Every pound of energy is put to use, and every revolution of the mental driving will count for something. It pays to be able to be a competent mental engineer. And the man who understands how to run his mental engine knows that one of the important things is to be able to stop it when the work has been done. He does not keep putting coal in the furnace and maintaining a high pressure after the work is finished or when the day's portion of the work has been done. And the fires should be banked until the next day. Some people act as if the engine should be kept running whether there was any work to be done or not, and then they complain if it gets worn out and wobbles and needs repairing. These mental engines are fine machines and need intelligent care. To those who are acquainted with the laws of mental control, it seems absurd for one to lie awake at night fretting about the problems of the day, or more often, of the morrow. It is just as easy to slow down the mind as it is to slow down an engine, and thousands of people are learning to do this in these days of new thought. The best way to do it is to think of something else, as far different from the obtruding thought as possible. There is no use fighting an objectionable thought with the purpose of downing it. That is a great waste of energy, and the more you keep on saying, I won't think of this thing, the more it keeps on coming into your mind. For you are holding it there for the purpose of hitting it. Let it go. Don't give it another thought. Fix the mind on something entirely different and keep the attention there by an effort of the will. A little practice will do much for you in this direction. There is only room for one thing at a time in the focus of attention, so put all your attention upon one thought, and the others will sneak off. Try it for yourself. For more audiobook like this, hit the subscribe button, and click on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new audiobook. Thanks for listening.